Good Monday, Tuesday. Good Tuesday morning to you all. Well, not here. It's uh, it's getting nighttime here, but happy Tuesday morning to you all. Hope you are having a fine and outstanding Tuesday. I got to tell you, uh, my neck of the woods, uh, they actually canceled school for the next two days because of the cold temperatures. I think with the wind chill 40, 50 below. I mean, when I was a kid, heck, we, uh, we walked to school and home uphill both ways. I mean, we went rain or shine or snow or sleet, tornado, hurricane, doesn't matter. I tell you, I don't know. I don't know what's going on now. Too cold, can't go to school. But anyways, hope all is well in your neck of the woods. Hey, look where we're at. We are on Oberlausitz. Yes, uh, my first time back on FS17 since, um, since FS19 came out. But we're going to do something kind of cool today, and you got to bear with me. Just, uh, you know, old FS-17, don't, don't, don't stop. Just kind of bear with me here a little bit. Um, if you remember right, it's been a long time since I have been on this map. Um, I started this a long, long time ago, and uh, I inherited this farm. Well, we have some changes here. We've had some uh, developments. Um, turns out that I was not the rightful heir. No, I wasn't. I am being kicked out of here. I just wrapping things up here for the evening, and then I am heading out of town. You betcha. Kind of made a settlement. Got a settlement out of the deal, so that's okay. I, I mean, I worked hard here for a little while. Uh, I, did, I planted these trees here. I did some creating of the fields. I did a big potato harvest with all my friends. Um, yeah, we had some fun on Overlausitz. And I'll tell you what, it's interesting to be back here and uh, playing with seasons. It's kind of a different, it's a different animal. That is for sure. But anyways, here on the farm, I'm just wrapping things up. The uh, rightful heirs are going to come and take over the farm in the morning. So I am pretty much done here. I am. I'm packing my bags. I'm taking whatever cash I got. And I made a new purchase. I did. I um, bought a little parcel of land and a cabin up in the woods. Can you believe it? I bought a cabin in the woods. You betcha. So I'm excited to get there and check. Whoa, the buckets. I hit the roof. Um, I tell you what. Um, that was the... Wrong spot to go. Ooh, the uh, little loader tracker um, has some damage here now. What? I thought I was in there the first time. Oh, that was the wrong stall for crying out loud. Um, it was parked next to the trailer. Yeah, you betcha. Park next to the trailer. There we go. This works better. Don't hit the roof there. So, everything's kind of done here, tidied up. They can take over in the morning and they can have at her. I mean, go nuts. Go nuts. Chickens are still laying eggs, and um, I can never find them all. That was always a problem here. Hello, chickens. Dunce bacon. Dunce bacon. Dunce pig is over there. Oh, I'm going to miss Dunce pig. I, Dunce pig and I, we kind of had a, we kind of grew together. But anyways, so that's it. That's wrapped up the story here. Um, man, I'm going to miss this place. I'm going to miss this place. It's a shame. It's an absolute shame that I never got to uh, spend more time here. Hello, sheep. Bye-bye, sheep. I'm out of here. I am out the door. They kicked me out. Yep. Kind of like the um, the Mr. Deeds kind of moment, you know, where you uh, have all this money and then you realize that it's not yours. That was kind of my deal here. That was kind of my deal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk to town. I'm going to walk to town. I'm going to hop on to a train, and I am out of here. Oh, man, does that bring back memories? Does that bring back memories? You know, <laughs> now the time... Hey, I finally figured out what those things are for. Um, time's going. Bye, greenhouses. You have fun. 
You betcha. You betcha. What a what a thing. What a thing. Um, as I walk into town here, it'll be nice. I tell you what, I, I was on here for a little while, tootling around, and uh, the seasons thing is just the uh, absolute um, game changer. Man, I hope that comes soon. I really do hope that comes soon. You remember playing FS17 when it, when it came out? I mean, we were all kind of taken back by it, you know, being council players. No, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And then all of a sudden, hey, there you go. You got seasons. I think I was playing on the Valley of the Old Farm, to be honest with you, uh, when seasons came out. Man, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. So it's kind of strange playing now without it and then coming back here and seeing the little forecast up there. But it's cool. They do have this map on PC, uh, a couple remakes of it, but I like this one. I like this one. Hey, baby, how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Don't look so angry all the time. Come on. Maybe it must be the haircut. You don't like your haircut? Hello. I don't know. Looks like you're going to yoga practice. Have fun. I'm out of here. But anyways, I'm going to hop a train. I got $150,000 in the bank. Um, I, I think I can do. I think I can do pretty good. Look at that. Kramer's down there. I tell you what. Kramer's implement. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Um, I don't want to go down here. I want to go this way. But anyways, I'm going to stop in here. Maybe have a quick pint and then hop a train. And I'll probably see you bright and early in the morning on my travels. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with. I have absolutely no idea where I am. I have no idea where I am. It's like the plane, trains, and automobiles kind of thing. I mean, this is almost scary. Um, I think I should be packing. Um, anyways, I was on the train uh, trying to get to my destination. I thought to myself, you know, self, um, you need to get a couple things. A couple things. So the first thing that came to mind was I was sitting next to somebody in the train. They said their uncle. And this uh, neck of the woods has a pickup truck for sale that I could purchase real cheap, ten thousand five hundred bucks, I think, and um, that will uh, get me to my next destination. And then uh, so far, um, things are going pretty good. But I kind of run out of the train doesn't leave this area, so I, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, why would you want to come here in the train? Um, but anyways, so what are these yellow things all over the place? Is that like a power lines or something i have no idea i was just thinking about that as i was walking down the street here um interesting very very interesting place i gotta tell you that very very interesting place but down here at this little store there's a pickup truck for sale so we're gonna go down there and take a look at it i think i'm gonna buy that and then i can drive to um a future destinations i have something in mind what i want to eventually get and then i can um get to my final destination and uh, kind of be set up to go because I bought this place, this parcel of land, this cabin in the woods. I bought this uh, unseen. You know, of course, I haven't been there yet. I only saw pictures, talked to the realtor. So when I do get there, I have to um, talk to the uh, realtor and, and get things settled. It's kind of interesting realtor guy. He sounds like he, um, you know, like that balloon thing, helium. Yeah, it sounds like he inhales helium all day long. High-pitched voice, really strange, really strange guy. Got an interesting place down here. Um, what is that, some sort of a church? What is that? Um, what is that? <laughs> this, is, this is like a strange alternative world that I have found myself into. Um, wow, people walking around though, that's a good sign. Hey there, baby. Um, I have no idea what that says. Hopefully somebody in here speaks English or I can use Google Translate or something. Um, and we can be on our way here. I, I have no idea what this means. 1945. Apparently I should, uh, I should Google this. 41 to 45. Well, that's World War II. Um, internal flame. There's got to be some historical reference to that. And you would think as a former history teacher, I would kind of know this stuff. But, um, are we in Poland? Are we in Poland? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Anyways, there is the uh, pickup truck. So I'm going to want to run into here. 10500 bucks. It's kind of shiny. I mean, I think it actually looks pretty good. Colors, you know, I don't know about the colors, but um, I have no... Hey, look at that. They can just walk right through the door. But I'm going to run in here. We'll settle up, and uh, we'll be on our way. We are now the proud owners of a jalopy. Of a jalopy. Look at that. We got a jalopy. Um, 
exciting stuff exciting stuff yeah the red red rims on there too this is a fancy this is a fancy pickup truck it even came with a full tank of gas so we should be re we should be ready to go because i don't even know where we find gas around here and who's to know how much it costs in the first place so let's hop into here look at that it even starts what does that sound mean and that's all i mean i got a road map um, we are going to follow what I think. Hey, look at this interior. That is nice. That is nice. They, they took good care of it. 10500 bucks for this pickup. Um, not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. Look at people walking around here. I tell you what, this place gets uh, scarier and scarier as I, as I hang out here. I think it is um, definitely time to crank the tunes and, uh, and get out of here. That's just what I'm thinking. I tell you what, there is something strikingly familiar about this place. I mean, almost eerie. I tell you what, I have been, um, I've been everywhere, man. Um, yeah, interesting. This, this, there's something, it's, it's, yeah, it is. It's eerie. It's eerie. But anyways, nice little wooded area came down. Of the, the drive has been going good so far. The jalopy so far has had no troubles. No troubles at all. Um, I thought as I drive here, I'll tell you what's going on. Anyways, I have a good buddy that has a agricultural service. Uh, it is Adrian's Agricultural Services. And he offered me a job. Offered me a job in this fine and outstanding area. I said, hey, you know what, buddy? I can do, oh, stay on the road. I can do that. I can come and, and work for you. I'd be more than happy to do that. So that's what I'm doing in this little place that I'm going. Holy crap, criminy. Um, I almost hit a car. I found that little uh, cabin in the woods, a little parcel of land. So I'm kind of excited about this new adventure. I really, really am. Um, man, this is just weird. It's like it's like um, the Twilight Zone. I'm telling you. Anyways, so that's where I'm going. I'm gonna go work for Adrian at his agricultural services company. He's got a big operation there. Man, I ca I can't drive. I can't drive. And. Um, Kind of work on my own little parcel of land, set it up. And what I did is I've been I've been shopping. I've been shopping. Uh, and I pull over here, you know. I use Amazon. I've been shopping. And I am. Um, let's see. Which way do I need to go now? I need to go. I need to go. Do I need to go this way? I think I need to go this way. And I've been buying some equipment. So I bought a uh, truck and a trailer. I did. I bought a truck and a trailer, and I figure I can just put the pickup truck on the trailer. And we can continue on. I have a few more purchases that I'd like to get. But in the meantime, uh, the truck and the trailer will have to do. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Man, nice view down there. It's a nice area, too. I could see myself settling down here. Oh, excuse me. I had I had a corn dog for lunch at the gas station. And it wasn't it wasn't very good. And I think, I think it's um, making my stomach a little upset. But I apologize for that. I should stop and get a pint and wash it down with a pint. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll survive. Uh, thanks for caring about me. I appreciate that. I know the concern is, um, is overwhelming. What is, I tell you what, people drive, you come across people in certain places that I go. Some of them drive like a bat out of heck, man, and then just no care in the world. Others, they drive like they're on a Sunday stroll. Come on, man. We can go a little faster than this, can't we? A little bit faster? Maybe? Perhaps? Somewhat? Oh, for crying out loud. I tell you. I tell you. So anyways, so yeah, so I'm going to pick up this truck in the trailer. Um, so far, I can put the pickup truck on the trailer. And then uh, we'll continue our uh, we'll continue our travels to um, 
our ultimate destination. Yeah, there is something strikingly eerie, eerie about this um, this place. Hey, good thing you use your turn signal, but go right through the stop sign. Yeah, I tell you what. How about if I stop and then I, I won't use my turn signal? But what I'm looking for is um, a farm. I'm looking for a farm. They have a nice uh, truck and trailer for sale. Whoa, what was that? That I bought online. Um, of course, another one of those things, sight unseen. So hopefully there's are nice people and they're not going to um, butcher me and eat me. Um, that wouldn't be very good. I don't think I would taste very good, to be honest with you. Um, no, no, I wouldn't taste very good. Nobody would want to eat me in this place here. Um, Fenton's Forest Farm. Yep, this is it right here. Nice place. Look at this little driveway. They got a fancy sign. How come I don't get a fancy sign? I want a fancy sign. Man, where, where is this farm? What is going on here? Um, something is going screwy. Screwy, I tell you. Um, maybe it's a jalopy. Hey, you have a problem with a little jalopy? Whoa, slow down. They got a combine over there. Nice looking combine. Uh, must be getting ready to harvest some harvesting. Wow, look at this operation. This is fancy. This is big time stuff here. I never got to be big time stuff like this. Nope. Not me. Hey, they got bacon. Hey, bacon. That's some good looking bacon. Good looking bacon. Oh, yummy bacon. All black bacon. Eh, I, you know, I'm. Any kind of bacon's fine with me. Any kind of bacon's fine with me. You gonna start? Oh, there you go. I meant that I didn't think it was gonna start. Let's see, where should we pull up into? Let's pull up, um, there's a house over here. So we'll pull up here, and, um, is this the house? Oh yeah, here's the house, right over here. And we'll find this truck and trailer, and uh, hopefully these are nice people, like I said, and, uh, and don't want to eat me. Uh, turn off, there you go. A little delayed, um, delayed stop there. Uh, fancy blue car. Anyways, we'll run into here and see if anybody's home. And I'll pick up my truck and trailer and be right back. Well, they were fine and outstanding people. They didn't want to eat me. They've got plenty of free-ranging chickens here. I don't, I don't, you know, kind of right in front of their garage, though. I mean, how do they, without running over to the chickens. Hey, little chicken. How you doing, chickens? Look at that. A little food trough right there. Look at that. I tell you what, they got, they're all set up here. Um, let's see. They, they pointed me in the direction of the truck. I paid $79,721 for um, this truck and trailer. And there it is. Look at that. That is a beast, man. This is a beast. You betcha. I love it. I, I can't believe they even want to get rid of this thing. I mean, this thing is just uh, awesome. A little big text trailer. That's kind of out of place. But that's, that's what they had. Um, fancy, fancy trailer. Mega. Mega ramp trailer. Look at that. They got cows over here. They've got sheep. They've got pig. They, they have a huge, huge farm. Hello, cows. Look at that. Dairy cows. Awesome. Looks like it could use some straw, though, a little bit. Um, silage bunkers and everything. So here we're going to do. Let's get into this thing. Let's, just, let's see how this thing runs here. Um, whoa. Look at that. Starts right up. Starts right up now. Um, let's go see if we can find my pickup truck, and we'll get the pickup truck loaded up, and we will be out of here like a herd of turtles. Um, where did I leave the pickup truck? Right over there. Right there is the pickup truck. Okay, let's knock down these ramps down there. Look at that. We'll let this puppy run. Man, that's awesome. I'm gonna have a lot of fun in that thing. Even got a spare tire. Can you believe it? Um, uh, pickup truck. Come here, pickup truck. Starts right up. Runs like a charm. I don't know what I'm going to do with this pickup truck. Um, you know, I was, I suppose, I, you know, maybe a, a run around town kind of vehicle. That might work. Um, nothing wrong with that. Look out. I don't want to run over a chicken. Uh, this pickup has a, has a tendency to pause now and then for some reason. Um, I might have to stop at uh, Nicholson's, um, Nicholson's garage. Whoa. Easy. Easy there. Come on, pickup. Get up there. There you go. Whoop, stay, stay. Okay. Pickup is all loaded, strapped down. We'll um, put up the ramps, and we'll be out of here. We'll be out of here. Look at that. We're ready to go. We got a truck, we got a trailer, and we got a jalopy. Now, how do we get out of here? I think we have to go back. Um, 
Let's see, which, how do we get out of this farm? This farm is so big, I can't even get out of it. Uh, man, look at that silo system they got. That is unbelievable. Big sheds full of hay, straw. I mean, awesome. Oh yeah, here's the bacon. We'll turn by the bacon. We can find our way out of here. Boy, look at this. You know, boy, the windshield seems a little bit dirty. They could have at least cleaned the windshield for me. I knew I was coming. Um, that's just too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. Nice place, though. I think I could settle down here, too. I really do. This is a uh, dandy of a location. Like I said, almost a twilight zone. It looks a little odd, like I've, like I've been here before. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to do some more research into it and think about it. But um, those fine folks there I bought this truck from, they uh, sent me packed with a couple of Butterfingers and a couple Mountain Dews. So I am ready to turn on the radio again, hit the road, and uh, let's see where we can go. I'm looking for a tractor. So I'm shopping online here when I get a chance to stop to go to the bathroom, you know, eat. I'm looking for a tractor. So maybe I can find myself a tractor and uh, we'll be one step closer to um, Adrian's. Yes, looking forward to that. Looking forward to um, starting to work. Gotta go to work, man. I need to go to work. Travels are good. I found myself a tractor. So we're going to pull into this uh, farm for sale. And they have a fine and outstanding tractor that I am going to purchase. The only thing that I'm kind of wondering is what I'm going to do with the pickup truck. They said that I could leave the pickup truck here and come pick it up in the near future. So I might just have to do that. This is it here. Let's just pull in here and um, we'll get ourselves this pickup truck. Um, or not a pickup truck. We'll get ourselves the tractor. And then, um, then we can pick up a, uh, well, yeah, pick up the tractor, and then we'll probably just end up leaving the pickup truck here. They said I could park it and um, come get it in the near future, so I might just have to do that. Uh, this tractor is just, oh, I put myself in a pickle now. I put myself into a pickle. Let's see if we can get turned around here. This is kind of a big place, too, I tell you. I tell you what, on this trip, I have seen more interesting things um, than I ever can imagine. Um, let's see. We should probably pull back up here. I gotta go out and see if I can find somebody. Um, I talked to him on the phone, but, um, no idea. This tractor I bought, we settled for a price of 31160 bucks. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, yeah, they did say I could just park my truck in the garage there. So let's do that. Um, I'll get this thing unloaded here. And then, um, I'll have to go find somebody and see if I can get the, the tractor that I'm looking for. Come on, Jalopy, you've been a good pickup. We'll come back and get you. I'm not worried about that. We're going to come back and get this pickup when we have time. Uh, we're not too far from our destination. We're only about um, half a day's drive. So we'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. We'll just put the pickup right up here. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Whoa, crap. Stay pickup. Stay pickup. Um, whoa, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, bummer. Um, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Uh, I found myself making a little mistake. Um, anyways, let's see. I'll go find somebody. Where would it, where would they be? Hello? Hello? Maybe down there? Maybe down there? I have no idea. Give me a second there, people. Had a good conversation with Jay Mueller. Yep. Right across the street. I found their house. Um, settled up. Paid for the tractor. They said, you go right ahead. You load her up. If you need any help, you come let us know. But uh, nice people here, too. Nice people is, Nice people here. They're going to watch over my pickup truck till I can come back and get it. So um, got all the bags out of there and everything. I am ready to rock and roll. Um, right here. This is what I got. They had an old Steyr. And I have never had a Steyr in my life. Um... They had an older one, and it had kind of set up what I wanted to set up. It had a weight and a loader and a grapple fork. 
So I am all excited about this this tractor. This is a dandy of a tractor. Um, I am looking forward to spending a lot of hours in this fancy tractor. Let's just jump in and take a look at it. Oh, look at that. Starts up real good. Um, nice, clean inside. Uh, the windows need to be... I, I think I might have to replace the windows. They're kind of a little bit too tinted for me. Um, if that makes any sense. But she sounds good. And everything works well. Um, quite happy with it. Let's see. How do we get out of here? Are we kind of on a platform here, aren't we? Um, boy. They got kind of fancy, uh, fancy yard here, too. I tell you what, I've been to a lot of these fancy... Oh, no. I mean, now the window doesn't look too bad. Been a lot of these fancy yards, and I'm kind of just thinking, man, I, I, I want something like that. Uh, maybe one day I'll get lucky enough where I can uh, build something like that. Um, let's see, is this tractor going to work out pretty good here? It should work out pretty good. Let's see, lift, lift the loader up there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Up, tractor. Up, up. Come on. You can do it. Good job. Let's see. Put the bucket down, the grapple down. Yeah. Turn it off. Uh, turns out pretty good. There you go. That'll work. That'll work. Strap it down. We are good to go. We're off again like a herd of turtles. Um, put up the ramps. This is a fine truck. Look at that. We are set to go. We are... Um, Adrian is going to be so impressed with my um, my stuff here. He'll hardly be able to contain himself. Uh, let's see. Where do we go now? I think we have to go... We have to go right we have to go right. Whoop, building. We'll go right. We will go right. We'll turn the tunes on again. And I'm trying to find one more piece of equipment to um, to um, complete the uh, trip. And then, um, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get there. Um, I might have to spend the night sometime soon. because I don't want to get there late at night because then Adrian, uh, I, I mean, I want to get there and get right to work. Yep, you betcha. Uh, boy, this is a curvy road. Look at a good corn crop, though. They got a nice corn crop, that's for sure. Oh, man. At least we're going downhill. Holy buckets. Look at that. Um, tracker, stay on there, buddy. You can stay on there, Tracker. Take my time driving here, for crying out loud. Whoa! And this track, this truck just purrs like a kitten. It really does. It, um, it's a fine truck. I'm making a lot of use out of this truck. That's for the reason I bought it, because of what I'm going to use it for when I get to my uh, my new cabin in the woods. Um, got a lot of projects, and then, of course, you know, working for Adrian, I'll be busy there, too. But, um, oops, stay. Holy buckets, we are really going downhill. We are coming off the mountaintop into the valley, I tell you. Nice, though. Whoa, easy. Whoa, easy. Oh, I should probably stay in my lane, too. At least there's no oncoming traffic yet. Um, but that all could change. That all could change. Well, let's turn the tunes on, and um, we'll hit the open road. And like I say, I, if I have to stop again, we'll probably stop for the night. That way I can get to um, Adrian's bright and early in the morning and get some stuff done for work and um, take a look at my new place. Like I say, I got, holy bucket, we're really going downhill now. Um, and go from there. I should just quit talking. I just had to get out and stretch my legs a little bit. You betcha. The trip is going good. So far, so good. No problems. The tractor has not fallen off. I have not crashed. But, uh, hey, hey, Bush, how you doing? I was just out stretching my legs, getting a look at the countryside. Nice little place here, too. I got to tell you. Um, I have been to some interesting places. Some not so nice. Some pretty darn nice. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I bought the last piece of um, equipment that I want to get. So, I should have parked somewhere else, better than getting in the bushes here. Um, we're going to stop up here at a local farm, and I'm going to load it up. And then we will be on our way to um, Adrian's new business. Adrian's business, uh, a new place. Adrian's Agricultural Services, where I am going to um, pretend pretend to be a um, helpful hand and a, uh, and a good worker. But I'm kind of looking forward to it. I really am. Uh, he is a heck of a nice guy. And he said he'll treat me fairly. So hopefully I can make some money. And then, of course, like I said, I still have my own yard to work on and, and two fields to take care of. But um, it's okay. It's all good. Let's see. Where is this place? It should just be um, right up here from the directions. Another nice people. I tell you what, I have met a lot of nice people 
on my journey so far. Um, finding those sending people. Nobody's wanted to eat me so far, so that's a good thing. That is a good, good thing. Let's see. Where do we go here? Do I need to turn... Do I need to turn this way? Oh, no. There's the farm right there. Oh, okay, buddy. You go ahead. I'll wait for you. Um, yeah, it looks like that's the farm right there. The driveway should be right here on the left, they said. Where's the driveway? Come on, driveway. You gotta be a driveway. Oh, here we go. Here's the driveway. We'll turn into here. Come on, tractor. I kind of missed my pickup truck. I'm gonna have to get back there and pick that up. Ooh, we're we gonna make it. Hey, a little crick. A little crick. Very nice. Very nice. Narrow lanes here in this part of the world, though. Um, let's see. There's the house. I'll just pull up in the yard here and we'll... Uh, I'll just... Ah, park right here for crying out loud. That's okay. Turn that off. There we go. Uh, I better go in and say hi and uh, pay for my purchase and see how we're going to get this puppy loaded up there. Uh, whoa, crap. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'll run in here, pay for this thing. It's only 5800 bucks is what I bought, but I'll show that to you after I uh, meet these fine, fine people. You know, I got to tell you, um, people around these parts, I mean, they, they, they say, hey, you go right ahead, you anything you need, you go ahead and use it, make yourself at home. So they said they have a telehandler over here, a lever. We'll go and um, pick that up. I'm going to need to use that to load up what I bought here. Nice little farmyard, too. Kind of tight there. Um, what do they got? They got a Valtra, a John Deere, a 6135M. Nice tractor. That's a dandy tractor. Too bad I couldn't put that on my trailer. Let's see. Let's hop in the lever here. You know, they didn't even bother asking me. Hey, look at that. There's a building. Uh, they didn't even bother asking me if I if I knew how to drive a telehandler or if I knew how to operate one. They just said, hey, you go right ahead. Use the lever. If you need any help, come get us. I said, ah, I'll be able to get it. So here's what I bought. I figured if I'm going to have a cabin in the woods and I got a tractor and a truck, I am going to need a fuel tank. So I found this one online, this um, LSFM. So we're going to load this puppy up. And I, hopefully it's going to fit just perfect in the back of my truck, in the bed of the truck. Let's extend that up there a little bit. It's got a fancy hook on here for me already. Um, let's see. Let's get the hook, let's get the uh, chains hooked up. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got that all. Oh, man. That's that's a that's a heavy thing. <clears throat> it's empty. It's empty. They, they, they uh, I think they bought themselves a bigger one. Oh, careful. Don't be swinging around like that. That's not good. I don't want to wreck this thing. Whoa, easy. Easy. E Holy buckets. Look at that thing. That thing's swinging. Holy criminy. Um, I wonder if it ever stops. <laughs> if it ever stops swinging. Uh, how am I going to load this thing with this thing swinging all over the place? Um, come on, buddy. Quit swinging. Quit swinging. There. There we go. Look at that. No problem. It is on there, and it fits like a fits like a glove, man. That is awesome. That took, it took a lot of swinging. <laughs> I tell you what, I had that John Anderson song in my head, just a swing in, as it was sitting there swinging in the wind, and I, I couldn't get it off. Um, but it's loaded. We'll put their lever back here, and then we'll be off once again, like a herd of turtles. Get the lever put. It's a nice little lever. I kind of like this thing. I, I don't know if I'd have any use for one, but uh, they're cute. They are, and I kind of like them. Um, more fun and else sending people here. Okie dokie. Let's see. Let's get in the truck, and we'll get that tied down. And um, let's see. Let's just go outside here. Let's get that tied. Whoops, wrong button. Um, there you go. Got her all tied down. That will be perfect there. Look at that. That is a nice-looking fuel tank. Black, though, I, don't, I probably shouldn't have painted it black. That might not be the uh, the best color for a fuel tank. Let's see. How do we get out of here now? Um, they told me how I got out here. I think I got to go back that way. Let's go back this way. But that's it. We got a tractor. We got a trailer. We got a fuel tank. And we got a fine and outstanding looking truck. We are all ready to start this new adventure. Off to Adrian's I go. Off to work. Off to the cabin in the woods. And um, let's see. Let's go this way here. Nice little farmyard here too. I tell you what, I have seen some, um, I have seen some nice places. That's for sure. 
Let's see. I want to go right here, I believe. We got a white car. Now this, this could be a trench. Um, is it? Oh, car coming. Car coming. Back up. Back up. Oh, now I'm stuck. How am I stuck? Come on, truck. Oh, I'm sorry, car. Um, what is going on here with this truck? I know it's a pretty heavy fuel tank, but it's empty for crying out loud. There we go. I should have like six wheel drive here or something. Hopefully I don't meet any more cars going down this road. This could be, um, this could be very, very ugly. This could get ugly. This could be very dangerous and get very ugly. But, um, oh, there we go. Come on, no cars. Hopefully no cars come till I get back to the main road. But, um, it's getting nighttime. So I'm going to probably go for a couple more hours and stay overnight. And I will see you where I see you. Bright and early in the morning. Hey, have a good night. Here we are. We have made it. We are here. Thank heavens. Good morning to you all. Happy, happy Friday morning to you. It is absolutely outstanding. Friday morning here. Happy, uh, well, it's still, um, what, Tuesday afternoon. So uh, I'm trying to go along with this thing here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is um, stop up at the new place, which is right here on the right. I am going to stop up there. So I'm going to park the truck and the tractor and the trailer. And then i got to head down. Ooh, look at that dealership. That is a fancy-looking dealership there, I tell you. Holy buckets. Uh, Mercury. Hey, calm down. i got to wait for traffic. Holy buckets. There, people are crazy. Um, it's Mercury Hillside Farm. This is the little uh, the little place I bought. Ooh, i got to trim some trees here. Um, that's not good. Watch out. Ooh, don't scratch the paint. Don't scratch the paint. We're going to pull up here in this yard. i got to go down to the office and pick up the keys and sign a few pieces of paper, which to the um, helium-sounding guy. And then, um, then we're going to head down to um, Adrian, say hi to him, and um, see what our first job is going to be with. This is, the new, this is the new spread. This is the new place right here. I mean, a cabin in the woods. What more could you ask for? Um, let's see. Let's just park right up there. We'll turn that puppy off. Um, we all made it in one piece. The truck, the fuel tank, the um, tractor, the trailer. We all made it. We all made it. Oh, home sweet home. Oh, isn't that pretty? I could do some painting, though. Looks like I got to do some painting. I, I bet I don't have keys. Nope, I got to go get keys first. Uh, yeah, if I do some painting, get it, get it cleaned up a little bit, do a little window washing, apparently. Uh, but this is all I need. This is all I need, really. Um... Yeah, I definitely do some cleaning with the windows. They're absolutely terrible. That one's covered up with like a board or something for crying out loud. Uh, hey, I got central air though. Got a heat pump out here. You can't go wrong with that. Um, like I say, I, you know, maybe I do some logging. Um, that was kind of my thinking with the uh, setup that I have here. Kind of clean up the yard here a little bit. Maybe eventually put in some buildings, you know. Um, yeah, who knows? Who knows? But anyways, um... The other thing I did is I bought another purchase online. I, I had to. I had to. I thought this is just the coolest thing in the world. But anyways, this is the new home up here. Mercury Hill Top Farm. Is that what it's called? I think so. Yeah. Look at that little cabin in the woods. Um, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's a beautiful day here. Absolutely beautiful day. So the dealership is right across the road. I better go introduce myself because that's, that's where I bought something. And then we're going to head down to um, Adrian's business, introduce myself, say hi, and... Uh, Probably then uh, maybe get to work. Maybe even get one job in here before we go today. Um, this might end up being longer than usual, but um, that's okay. Every once in a while, that is absolutely fine. Now, let's see, we got, what do we got? At least I tell you where you're going. BJ Bunker that way. Yeah, Mercury Hillside Farm. BJ Bunker that way. Vehicle. Well, I can see the vehicle shop. Um, garden Center. Livestock market. Look at that. Hustle and bustle. Hey, I got some fancy lights out here. That's kind of nice. Like I said, I got to do some trimming of the trees here. I don't want to get all my equipment up there and then um, go nuts. But I do believe, actually, I think about it, with the parcel of land that I bought, this is jump the hedge here, I think um, I think this field is mine, to be honest with you. Hey, look at that. Uh, I, I own it. Yes, I do. Oh, it's, this is mine, actually, and then that field over there. Um, I'm, you know, I wasn't really prepared to have any, ground, have any uh, crops in the ground, but... Um, Nah, I don't know. Maybe we can either, I don't know, find somebody to hire. Well, hey, I work for Adrian's Agricultural Services. Maybe I could uh, 
for a little bit of money have him come over here or have me with his stuff uh you know i don't know we'll figure it out hey look at that i got a little pond i got a little pond oh isn't that nice i got ponds with trees in the middle yeah my property oh but no ducks too bad there are no stupid ducks in there oh yeah this is gonna be fun this is gonna be fun um yeah, like I said, I'm going to go over to the dealership. I uh, bought myself a little toy. I did. I bought a toy. Let's see. Jump the hedge again. I bought myself a little toy to get around, so I'm anxious to try that out. I'm not, I'm not, very, I'm not a very good uh, rider, driver, but um, I'm sure we can figure it out. I'm sure we can. Hey, look at that. Vehicle shop to the left. Yeah, I wonder what gave that away. Um, car's coming? Yeah, blue car coming. Come on, blue car. Another blue car. Man, they're like blue around here. Wow. I don't think they're... A, I think they're a used equipment dealership, but they got all kinds of stuff um, from their website when I was looking online. All kinds of tractors, all kinds of combines, all kinds of implements, and people. Just, I mean, people come to the store here. Look at, all, look at the hustle and bustle here. Fine and outstanding stuff. Absolutely fine and outstanding stuff. Let's see. Um... Where do I go? Maybe I had to go find a salesman. Maybe introduce myself. Say hi. Say hey. I'm here. Hey, little guy. Ew, yep. Maybe go to the front desk. Oh, no, nobody's sitting there. Hello. I could have a soda. They have Mountain Dew. They have Mountain Dew. Uh, look at that. I don't even have a Mountain Dew for crying out loud. What is the world coming to? How long do you think it will take for me to kill myself on this thing? Uh, hey DJ, that's got your number on it, buddy. Um, yeah, I bought this. I bought this little uh, little dirt bike thing. I think this thing will be absolutely outstanding for me to cruise around in. Got a monster sticker on there, but that's okay. Um, definitely, definitely a, a, a DJ DJ toy. 69 number with a monster sticker. Um, racing company box. Awesome. Uh, yep, definitely his toy. Anyways, we're going to hop on this. Let's go down to um, Adrian's business, and let's see if we can say hi to him. Oh, we also have to go meet the uh, realtor guy. Let's go find that out, too. I'm going to see if I can drive this thing. Um, I wonder if I can pop a wheelie. Can I pop a wheelie? Oh, I want to pop a wheelie. I want to pop a wheelie. Ooh. Nicely tuned in, though. Whoa. Okay, that brake works out pretty good. Um, let's go this way. I kind of look like a dork on this thing. You know what I mean? All right, got that all. <clears throat> Excuse me, holy buckets! I got a mosquito in my throat. Got that all figured out. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that we got everything taken care of. Yep, yep. Oh crap! I almost killed myself. <laughs> um, hey, look at that! Airplane. The scooter is still is still running. Awesome. Oh boy, I gotta be more careful on my driving. Um, and I'm hurting this guy's uh, field here, that's not good. Um, well, there's Adrian's place right there. Now, how do I get out of, how do I get out of this field? Uh, boy, that cement truck just threw me, threw me right in the middle of the field. But, it's a good thing I got a little dirt bike here. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Let's see, how do we get out of here? Where is the, oh, there we go. We get out of here this way. Maybe the dirt bike was not the best thing for me. Um, I have to say, hey, this nice little place there. Probably not the best. Hey, look at that! They got a, uh, a uh, what do you call those things? The, um, come on. What do you call them? Oh, racing chicken um, places thingy majabi. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, racing chicken something. Um, let's see, Adrian's right across the street here. Let's head there. Whoops. Man, I gotta get the gears down here. I keep rolling backwards. Um, stop in and say hello. Oh, the gate's closed. Ah, it's a good thing I know the password. Oops. Yeah, I think I think maybe this is not the best thing for me. Open gate. Look at that. It worked. Ooh, fancy little spot here. Man, he's got a he's got a big business. I tell you what, I think he does pretty well for himself. Hey, look at that. There's a gate right there, too. We got back here. Hey, there's a guy in orange pants standing there. How you doing, guy in orange pants? Um, hey, you got a combine hair there. Cool. Oh, kidoki then. Um, what should I do? I should probably go in and see if he's around and say hello 
and then um, see what he has in uh, in store for me. Stop. Stop. There. Man, I, I don't know. That might not have been the best idea in the world. Might not have been. Oh, I tell you what, that Adrian, he is one heck of a guy. Absolutely one heck of a guy. He even brought me up and had me brought me lunch. Bought me lunch at the food truck invasion. Oh, it was good stuff. It was good stuff. Um, I am heading back to Adrian's um, Ag Services location. I my first job. I got my first job was to grab the transport truck and head down to the dealership and pick up some pallets. So I got them loaded up. We're gonna head back down there, and I'll kind of give you a little little tour of that area as we. Uh, Wrap it up. Wrap it up here. I know this is probably getting a little bit. Whoa, look out, buddy. Way too long. And I sincerely do apologize. But I, it's just, ah, so be it. You can watch as much as you want to watch. Um, they really need to organize their lot here a little bit better. I mean, it's kind of hard to get in and out of here. But anyways, that is all good. That is all, all good. Stop, 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 stop. Boy, after my uh, near-death experience with the uh, dirt bike, I'm kind of getting a little leery of traffic, if you know what I mean. Um, some traffic, they drive crazy. Other traffic, they're not so bad. Uh, sunny drivers, like I said. But anyways, this is a this is a beautiful area. Absolutely beautiful area. I could not be happier here working for Adrian. Got myself a little cabin in the woods. Gonna work on that too. I'm gonna get that. Um, I'm gonna get that all spick and span. I think what we're gonna do is on the weekend here coming up. Um, I will work on that. Do some logging. That was kind of my theory. When I bought the truck and the tractor with the loader and the grapple on it, um, thinking that we can get that yard cleared out and, uh, and do something with it eventually. We have the two fields there, too, that I need to get that figured out, too, um, and what to do. I'll probably... Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. That was a close one. Um, I don't know if I, have, if I can lease something and just plow them under, because, I mean, cotton... Uh, that's what that's what was on there when I bought the property, so I'm have to go kind of, kind of go with it. But um, I could just plow it under. I'm, I'm certainly not going to lease a cotton harvester for like thirty thousand dollars to get six bucks worth of cotton. Oh, blue car, come on, you're so slow. You're so slow. But anyways, we'll pull in here to Adrian's. There is a back entrance into um, the agricultural services headquarters, as you want to call it right here so we'll pull into here i think the gate oh the gate's closed i need to talk to him about getting some fancy remote controls man they have to get out and open the gate all the time and then i want to know who the guy is and sending the orange coveralls there too that kind of that kind of almost freaks me out a little bit um let's see let's pull around this side here i don't know specifically where i should unload these puppies but um we can maybe where would you unload them if you said go get herbicide where would you unload them put them right next put them in there we'll put them over there somewhere we'll just uh pull up in here and park right here what is that a chainsaw somebody cutting down trees i think so lumber lumber over there anyways we'll get these um unloaded here get the straps off you know what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna take you inside i'm gonna show you what we got here what adrian's got what i'm what i'm dealing with here um Man, somebody is busy cutting down trees. Um, we got a, we got a little sprayer here. We got that. We have this beautiful Kenworth cab over with a uh, tipper trailer. That is, I mean, that looks sharp. I like that. So that's what we have. And then in the big building here, we have a Kloss combine, Lexian 780. We have a John Deere 8970. Um, another Kloss tractor. This is a... Um, 920 Axion. I'm looking forward to driving that puppy. I, I don't think I've ever driven a Kloss before. Um, and then we got a, a cedar and a planter here. I think out back there's a Kultai plow and a... Yep, there you go. Kultai plow and a, uh, a, a cultivator. So we got that out back there too. Got some silos. I mean, he's got a, he's got one heck of an operation here. And apparently he likes to collect um, American signage. I mean, tractor supply. There's a John Deere. Old feed mill. I, you know, I don't know what that means. Um... What does that say? Old Santa Fe boots and saddles, yeah. But nice, nice shop. I like this shop. This is a dandy of a shop. So this is going to be a lot of fun working here for Adrian. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited. Um, absolutely excited. Kroger, look at that. Kroger. You know, there's a grocery store when I live in Texas called Kroger's. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, let's get this stuff unloaded, and uh, then we'll probably call her a day. We'll probably call her a day here as I do it. But look at this. Adrian's got a nice little transport truck, this man truck. Oh, yeah, this thing is awesome. Um, I'm all excited about this. Um, kind of su surprisingly that uh, he just said, hey, hey, man, go right ahead. Do whatever you need to do. And uh, now I got the thing stuck on there. Come on. As I was saying, um, you know, I'm surprised he just lets me take the stuff without asking me if I know how to use it or give me a test drive or maybe a test. You know, many places where you have a forklift, you know, when I work for the beet plant, um, the beet processing plant, the sugar plant, uh, you had to take a forklift test for crying out loud. Um, well, it may kind of makes sense because I'm sure there's a lot of people there, and especially a lot of people that I work with, that he would say, no, no, don't put them anywhere near a forklift. Um, not only are they going to hurt you, but they'll, <laughs> they'll probably seriously hurt themselves. Um, but yeah, this is a nice truck. What? Oh, I got the strap on there still. Oh, crap. Look at that. Uh, I've been on the job now for, what, a minute, ten minutes, and I'm already breaking stuff. Oh, come on. Strap. You can come off. There we go. Get that strap off. They're crying out loud. But yeah, this is a nice transport truck. This is gonna this is gonna come in handy, man. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Stay on there, tote. Let's see. Are they gonna fit in the shelf? Is that where I'm supposed to put them? Maybe this is where I'm supposed to put them. That'd be kind of handy. Um, whoa, crap. Oh crap. Whoa, stop. Oh boy. I hope nobody's around here watching me because this is very embarrassing. Um, very very embarrassing. Let's see. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, this is the perfect spot for it. I'm having all kinds of troubles. Come on, get off. There we go. There's one tote down. You know what? I have made an executive decision. I am not going to put you through the other um, the other three. But you get, you get the gift. Neat little toy. Neat little toy. I kind of like it. And I got another little toy over there that I killed myself on. Anyways, hey, that's all I've got for today. I sincerely appreciate you stopping by and checking this out. And if you lasted this long, hey, thank you very much. Um, also, a big thanks to Alien Jim. If he's watching, thank you very much, my friend. I sincerely appreciate the opportunity to play this map. Um, and seriously, thank you. Thank you very much. It is an awesome map. Absolutely awesome map. And when it gets released on um, console, PC, all platforms... Um, you guys, you guys will love it and you'll have a good time with it. Um, I think, I, I think what, um, what I, what I love about it is, you know, he makes these maps so you can kind of customize them. And I love going in and customizing my own map. So thank you. Thank you once again, Jim, for, um, the opportunity. Sincerely appreciate that. But anyways, hey, you guys all have yourself a fine and all state. What the heck was that? Did you hear that? Um, sounded like a bomb went off. Whoa. Gunfire? I'm gonna have to explore. I'm gonna have to explore this area some more. Got chainsaws and gunfire going on. Um, but anyways, hey, I hope you all have a great Tuesday. Thanks very much for tuning in and watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Any questions, um, feedback, criticism? Hey, it's all welcome. But if you did like it, hey, drop me a like. I'd appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, think about doing that as well. That would be greatly appreciated. And um, as always, have a great day and keep me between the ditches. So long. I'm going to go watch the guy in the scary orange jumpsuit over here. Hello? Are you Lons? Are you Lons Bulldog? What do you got in your hand? Ooh, you got a wrench. Ooh, nice. Good job. Love it. Absolutely love it.